Still busting. Ha! Still busting. Delicious sodium in a bowl. Good morning, Jams. It's Grandma Shamima, and we are back at it again with another video. So today we're going to be filming a what I eat in a day. So we finna see what I eat in a day. And that's just out on that, okay? Yeah. Uh, um, first things first, I'm going to take my iron supplement. Um, that's always such a fun part of my day. Like, I just so look forward to a mixation of, of vitamins and, and supplements because my body don't work by it. My body don't work right on its own. So I have to like take all these other things so I can like feel somewhat decent. And it's like so great. And they all taste so great. It's like mm, delicious. Okay, so I'm starting off with my liquid iron because I'm a child and I struggle with pills. Who are you to judge me? Yeah, that's my thoughts. And you just pour a tablespoon of this. Oh, wow. Let's turn the spoon. Yeah. Cool. A teaspoon, sorry. Oh, my God. I feel like this teaspoon is big as hell, though. Like, I don't got no other teaspoon that's this size. It's low-key getting a table. <laughs> and pour it in here. Like, do you? stir now we're going to add this pack of emergency vitamin C if you didn't know vitamin C helps your iron to absorb into the body yaddy, yaddy. we're just gonna go ahead and dump that in there it's kind of a weird texture thing because this is like a fizzy drink so like you can see it's like foaming doesn't it look like an espresso? Yeah, let's think about that. That's such a positive way of thinking. I like that for us. Let's let's just do that. Yeah. Just because, you know, we're in our healthy girl era. We're talking about gut gut health. We are also going to add this probiotic powder supplement. Like I said, I'm a child. I know. I know. I don't need you to tell me I'm living this. I'm living this. This is my life. I don't need you to tell me. Like, this is such a delicious drink. Don't you want to taste it for yourself? <laughs> it's actually not bad. Let me stop doing that. It's more so the aftertaste of the iron. So I usually like to have something to, to you know, sip or eat right after. Um, because it tastes like blood. <laughs> And who doesn't like the taste of blood? Right? Like, who doesn't like the taste of that? But the good thing about this iron is that it's very gentle in my stomach. I don't ever have, like, any gastro issues, any stomach issues. Um, it doesn't make me feel queasy. And even though it's the first thing I'm about to drink on an empty stomach, it's totally fine. I never have stomach issues. So... Love that. Cheers. <sighs> mm. The probiotic didn't really mix. Let me add a little water. Like, why are you embarrassing me today? This is just my fruit water. Put a little cucumber in there so I have a little flavor. Um, and yeah, that is the first supplement of the day. And now it's time for me to make breakfast. We're keeping breakfast short and sweet today. Keeping it cute because I got work to do. You know, <laughs> I'm a working woman. I'm on the clock. Anybody got time here in this kitchen 24 7? Barefoot and pregnant? Like, come on. Come on, hey. 
Okay, so my new favorite thing to make is feta eggs. And I really shouldn't, y'all, I wanna be dairy free so bad. Like, I wanna be like, oh my God, like I don't consume dairy. Like, cause when I tell y'all my body actually hates dairy, but the problem is my taste buds, my mouth loves it. Body hates it. Literally like skin breaking out, stomach awry. It's just a hot mess overall. And yet, here I go, about to make me some what? Feta eggs, and it's so good. And I actually discovered this on Instagram. I think this other girl was talking about it, and I was like, feta and eggs, like, huh? And the other people in the comments were like, oh my God, I thought the same thing too, until I tried it, and it's so good. And why is it actually so good? So that's what we're gonna make today. I have also been on my cream of wheat kick. Um, I just find it easier to consume than oatmeal in the morning. So, yeah, we're gonna do that. If you hear creaking, it's my knees. Once again, who are you to judge? I like to make my, no, let me not, let me not embarrass myself. We're gonna use a real bowl today. <laughs> Actually, no, we're not, because the reason I like to use this is you guys know, especially when you make like oatmeal and stuff, how it rises, the cream of wheat does the same thing. So that's why I like to use a taller situation like that. You know, I'm not in love with the maple brown sugar flavor, but whatever. This is the only flavor that I've seen in instant. I gotta see if they make these in any other flavors, like. a little a little almond milk and i just eyeball the milk like i don't really go by measurements um but i like my stuff a little watery so i feel like i go the tiniest bit overboard but that's quite all right because i'm grown and that's my business and you do what you want when you pop it yeah in the meantime, let's get these eggs cracking like my knees. Oh, shoot. Uh, yeah, clearly I am not paying attention. Wow, okay. Hopefully, this does not uh, completely fail. Okay, I'm just gonna pop the egg right on top. Oh my god, my egg almost fell. Yo, I would have been sick. Oh, this is so ugly. Wow. Wow. I'm so sorry, y'all. It's usually a lot cuter than this. Not really, but like, was, yeah. Hit it with the quick seasoning. Quick. Come out. All right, one, two. You know, not too much. A little light on. Not too much. Oh, she's so ugly. Wow. It's still gonna be good though. I can tell. It's still gonna be delish. So you know, hate if you want. Talk if you want. Bro, I can never flip the junk without it overcooking. Ooh, see the way the cheese is like crusted on the back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, since this is almost done, I'm gonna go ahead and put my mixture into the microwave now. Let me give it another swirly swirl, because this only takes like a minute or so to cook. Last turn. And turn this heat off while it cooks. Yeah. Yummy, yummy. This is what it's looking like. And normally, I'm, I'm not gonna hold y'all. Oh yeah, I eat a lot more milk this time. I would eat it right out of this. 
But for the sake of content, for the sake of y'all watching me and judging me, I'm gonna go ahead and pour this into a bowl. Though it's not that much, I only did one pack. So, yeah, as it cools down, it will thicken up. But personally, I like a little bit more liquid in my porridge. Okay, yeah. And boom. Oh, you guys can't really see what I'm eating, huh? Let's sh shift this angle a bit. Okay, so this is breakfast for today. Yummy, yummy. And I will also be chugging my water. So for me to indulge in my feta eggs, I definitely need my lactate pill. <laughs> Uh, once again, allergic to dairy and just no discipline to, to not eat it, apparently. So while the cream of wheat cools down, we're gonna tackle these eggs. And I tell it's so good. Like, I don't know what it is about the mix, but it just, it works. Mm. It just works, come on. fruit in your water it will change the game I'm telling y'all and you can play around with the different fruits too to see what you like switches up the vibe mm. it's so good sometimes I'll be fighting with the oatmeal like if it's not made Haitian style <laughs> Like the healthy way, sometimes I'd be like, uh, I'm not really feeling this right now. But the cream of wheat, it's so easy to just slurp down. Mm. I'm definitely a fan. Mm-hmm. Mm. But that's it for my breakfast, y'all. See you at lunch. Or maybe I do a little snack in between. Actually, no, I'll see you at lunch. Mm. Bye. Hi guys, guess who's back with real clothes on? <laughs> um, I'm about to make me some lunch and it's gonna be pretty simple. Uh, every once in a while I get a craving to make me some noodles. So that's what we're gonna do today. But I like to hook mine up. Like I'll eat it like this, but like that's boring. I like to hook mine up. So I'm gonna show you how I do it and then we're gonna slurp that thing up, okay? First of all, it don't even be hot and spicy for real. It's giving hot and mild. Like it's giving black and mild. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and, and make this how I like to make it.
okay so that's how i make my ramen i don't usually use broth chicken broth um that's my first time using it so hopefully it's good if i can use uh for the almond milk in my cream of wheat i can use broth in my noodles <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't like switch up the flavor but like the lemon and sriracha mix hits and then the onions y'all know i love onions mm. still busting ha! still busting delicious sodium in a bowl crunch from the onions extra sodium from the uh the turkey meat but also extra protein mm. now if i was really that girl i'll boil an egg but i'm not i'm not i like this because it's quick okay mm. i tell you guilty pleasure so good so good all right. Yes. Oh. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Hot. Then I have some Sprite Zero here. This is lunch. Cheers. <laughs> Okay, darlings, we are winding down for the night. You guys know I love a quick and simple meal, especially if it's all in one pan. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I'm gonna make like a shrimp stir fry cauliflower slash real rice. Stir fry rice? What? I'm making a shrimp stir fry, period, because <laughs> I don't know how I got lost in that. But yeah, so I had to defrost some of this shrimp, this raw shrimp. Um, it's currently defrosted now. I'm going to throw some seasonings on it. Nothing crazy. Like, when I tell y'all it's simple, quick, and easy, like, I'm really not doing too much. I'm really not doing too much. Um, I grabbed a couple of these olives. Um girl dinner they're good they got a little twang mm -hmm. so i'll be snacking on those throughout the process i went to my freezer and basically grabbed whatever i had so i had some of this cauliflower vegetable medley with peas carrots and onions that's why this is perfect but i also want real carbs so i also I got this veggies and rice. It has brown rice and quinoa in it with a garlic basil sauce. Like, hello. Period. And then I have some leftover peppers that I'm going to use up. Baby, can I tell you quick and simple? You're going to be done in eight minutes, okay? Just using up stuff in the freezer. And that will be that. So, let's get to it. <laughs> I was at a dance, like what is going on?
it's not exactly stir fry. <laughs> it's giving more risotto, paella. But I'm okay with that because I taste tested it twice and it's fire. It's good. I'm not gonna say it's the best thing ever, but it's good. <laughs> it's real good. The scrimp is scrimping. Okay. Mmm. Mm hmm. Mmm. <laughs> it's real good. Period. Oh. Oh, hot. I'm also going to pour me a glass of a, a bit of coconut water. Yum. <laughs> we drizzled on just the tiniest bit more sriracha. I feel like I put enough for flavor, but not enough for kick, you know? Just. So make it cute. Okay. Oh, the shrimp is so good. And juicy. Mmm. Mm hmm Why am I eating with the spoon? Like, be for real. Mmm. <laughs> Look at this juicy scrimp. Ooh. So I'm going to finish this watch this current episode of suits finish my coconut water and then i'm probably gonna have a protein shake or something before i go to bed tonight so i'll come back but i'm gonna crush this mm -hmm. come on chef jrd okay so dinner is done i'm about to have a quick protein shake I guess you can go all dessert. This is a fruity cereal from Orgain, 30 grams of protein. I'm gonna, I rinsed out my cup. <laughs> oh, oh my God. So yeah, this is how we are ending out the night. I'd rather have a Twix, but you know, we move. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, put a little bit too much ice. Oh, 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 oh. Wow, perfection, perfection. Doesn't this look like a smoothie or something? <laughs> it's getting a milkshake, bringing the boys to the yard. Mm. And that, ladies and gents, is the end of today's what i eat in a day thank you guys so much for watching this video i hope you guys enjoyed it mm. and i will see y'all in the next one toodles <laughs>